Well, the latest news is the news is in trouble. Apparently CBC is uh, laying off over a hundred thousand people. But you know, they cry and they bitch and they moan. But the reason they're going out of business is because they don't have any investigative reporting going on anymore. How long have the injured workers been asking them for help in our fight against the WCB? For years that I know of. And where do we get? We get the odd little blurb on their sites and that's it. But never, never anything substantial. There should be a there should be a whole bloody huge uh, expose done on what these people do to the injured worker. Same as the province and and, and and the Times and all that. But you know something? That paper they're charging what a buck seventy five or two bucks? I forget what it is because I never buy it and I, and I wouldn't buy it if it was fifty cents because all it's got in it is regurgitated crap that they want it want you to hear. They don't. Uh, uh, portray what's actually happening to the public out, out there and how we're being duped by these rich overlords. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a fucking ridiculous. You go you go walking down the street and you see what they're charging. They're trying to do. They got the gas back up around 98 cents a liter. You know? Uh, they're crying that they're not making a profit. No, they're not making the same profit they, at the inflated price that, that, that they had, but they're down back where they should be. In other words, they're still making a, a huge profit, but they're not making it a thousand percent. They're still making a hundred percent, but they're not making a thousand percent. And this is where they're losing so much money. You know, you go in to buy groceries. The pr has the, has, have the price of groceries dropped? Anybody, anybody want to riddle me that one? No, the price of groceries has not fucking dropped, and it will not drop. They are making nothing but money, but they are keeping the public in a panic because in the background they are pulling their bullshit with this North America Union and all this other bullshit. You know, they're talking today about the price of the con con condominiums in Vancouver dropping down by a hundred thousand dollars. Big deal. They're only two hundred thousand dollars overpriced anyways. So if they drop, if they knock a hundred thousand dollars off the top, they're still about two hundred thousand dollars overpriced. <laughs> so they're so they're still making a huge profit. It don't cost that much to build one of those condos, contrary to what they would like you to believe. It's about if you go into one of those high rises where it's built out of steel studs and drywall in a concrete shell, it's about five thousand dollars to frame out and drywall one of those condominiums. That's what it costs for that. That, and even if you put in five thousand dollars worth of labor in on top of that, it's still only ten thousand dollars. They're charging three hundred and seventy-five, four hundred thousand dollars for these. These people, by the time they pay for everything, they're probably making around two hundred thousand dollars profit on each condominium when they sell it. And these aren't usual, you know, uh, a young couple looking for a, a starter home. These are rich offshore Orientals, foreigners, and all this other bullshit. And don't let them bullshit you about the cost of the labor because when all this work was going on, they opened up the border and allowed Mexicans, Guatemalans, anybody, Germans, anybody who wanted to come in and work here, worked here. Cheap. So they still made nothing but money, these bastards. But it's all part of the brainwashing. And, you know, it just keeps going on and on and on. And people buy into this bullshit. And they say, oh, times are so tough for those poor contractors and that. Those poor contractors have been screwing people for years. For years. And they will continue to screw people, these big contractors. They pay no taxes. You pay taxes. They, they employ high-priced accountants so they don't have to pay taxes. You pay taxes. They get concessions from the government because they employ people. You pay taxes. <laughs> you just keep paying, and you better keep paying, or you're going to wear it.
You know, they're talking about this underground economy now. They're Now, again, they're going to go after these people that are working under the table. Well, there isn't that much. Believe you me, there isn't that much of that going on either. I've had ads on Craigslist, Kijiji. I'm not getting any calls at all. So there isn't that much of an underground economy. And, and believe me, if I made a dollar, I'd be reporting it because it's much easier to do it that way than it is to do it under the table without reporting it, believe me. So you're better off to report everything you made, and that way they can't come after you. Uh, only if you're a big guy, though, you don't have to worry about reporting. <laughs> they just send them down to see the guy at the tax or accountant's office, and he takes care of it. But, uh, you know, it all runs back to the same bullshit. The little guy gets screwed. We have to pay the, the price for these guys in discretion. These bankers that have made these bad deals, and, and and they continue to make bad deals, but they're getting paid huge amounts. Like, And I, I agree with Mr. Obama. That was ridiculous, that AIG deal. They should put them out of business. They should seize that company because they actually own about 70% of the company now that they've invested in it. So I would just seize the company and fire those buggers, and that would be the end of it. And then go after them and tax the shit out of them on the money they got. But uh, it's always the same bullshit. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer, we get trampled on, and it just keeps going on and on and on and on, you know. And, and if, if the news wanted to make more money, they should try reporting the news. Try talking to injured workers and getting stories about the injured worker, the, the people that were sprayed by Agent Orange in this country in 1965 and on at uh, CFB uh, Gagetown there in New Brunswick. You know, stuff like that, it's, it's, it makes for excellent reading and the public would want to read it, you'd sell papers. But that's where the problem lies, you don't want to do what you're supposed to do, which is report the news. And people aren't going to pay for garbage. They're tired of paying for garbage. And advertising, you pay $100 a month for cable vision, you watch a movie, you get 5 minutes of a movie, you get 15 minutes of advertising. People don't want to pay money for that shit anymore. We don't have any money. Don't you understand? We're broke. It's time to smarten up, boys. Wake up. Have a nice day.